This is a training video to help our team at Boise Prosthodontics understand how to make a model using the Preform software. Uh, open the Preform software. This window shows you uh, where you can choose different resins. For basic model, we use gray and 50 microns. Uh, make sure you're on the right printer and apply. This is going to describe how you can use the mouse. Um, the roller button will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, right clicking and holding it uh, actually here holding the roller button down you can move the image around right click you can rotate the image and left click and hold allows you to select different aspects in the image um, at this point we're showing you the different um, tools on the right side the top window is the printer you can just verify you have the right resin um, the details tells you the print time, the layers, and then the printability will help you know if you're ready to go. If you click on the tooth, it will allow you to make a model using the preform software itself. So you click next, it'll open the folder windows of your computer. Uh, we're going to pull it off the screen so you don't see the patient's names. And ultimately you will find the location of the STL file stored and load it. It'll bring it in as the raw data you'll want to line it up so that you can manipulate the image using that circle uh, left click on that circle line will allow you to rotate it within the orientation of those lines um, usually you want to line it up pretty symmetric so the clue table is perpendicular or parallel to the build plate of the printer uh, click next and this allows you to trim away extra data if we're doing just a basic model or a bleach tray or a night guard um, you can go ahead and trim this down to about four to five millimeters below the CEJs of the teeth uh, if you wanted it more neat and clean you can clean up some of the extra scan data you see kind of folded um, from the scan before you export it from the trios machine uh, so it's a little more clean and neat uh, you could still manipulate this model a little bit more so it's more even at the CEJs. You'll see on the left side there's more gingiva versus the right side of that image in front of us. Um, so we can play around with that. Once you decide where you want it, you click next and it'll go to building the base. Usually we build it about a millimeter thick. And you can see it now creates a model, cuts off the extra data, fills it so it's solid. Now you're ready to print that model. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load the second model, the lower jaw. Again, click on the tooth, click import. It'll find the folder. You'll click on the right jaw. Again, align it the way you want. This time, using those arrow keys in the upper right corner, you can change your field of view or orientation of the field of view uh, to what you want. Sometimes people like that. Uh, again, you got to line it up parallel, the occlusal table parallel to the build platform and make sure things parallel going anterior posterior and right and left again it's hard to see if it's perfectly in line so you got to move it a little bit so you can see that cut plane um, this time we need to lower it down to get that you know three to four or five millimeters below the cejs of the teeth once you're there you click next a millimeter build plate or base click next it'll calculate it there you go. Now you have your second model ready to print. Almost. At this point, if you look to the right, or actually here we're looking at some of those little fins, you can trim those off later. But you see the printability is negative. It's concerned about building directly on the build platform. Um, some people do that. I always want to be safe, not to waste resin and reprint, so we'll highlight both of them and will auto generate uh, some supports. The computer will calculate that for you and you'll generate these supports. And then you should clear up the printability issues and be able to print it. Ideally, you wouldn't want those little supports on the teeth. In this particular case, that patient has teeth that are fairly proclined. Um, you're not gonna be able to get around that unless you change the inclination um, but for all intents and purposes for this one, you should be fine. Now you look on the right side, everything's a go. 
um, says we should be fine. It should print in four hours. Click on the little orange circle. You can change the name in that field. You can highlight that field and change it to whatever you want. So you know what the print is. We got the right printer, right resin. Um, says we have enough ink or enough resin to print it. And you upload the job. Right now it's sending it to the printer. You can verify on the printer that it's there. You don't need to save it or track it. And we'll close out. And we don't save it because we can always reload it. That's how you do it.